If you'd like to get a video featured on the series, then just send me an email following the instructions on the screen. Essentially what it is, is that you guys can send me your submissions of your albums on khuxtracker.com containing all of your individual medals for me to look at, ask me questions related to setups, and I'll personally go over in a video like this one my thoughts and advice on creating the best setup solely based completely on what you have. Alright, so the person that we're going to be doing for today's Kingdom Key series video is actually going to be one of my Patreons named Teth Adams, and this is his album. And essentially what he wanted help on was finding out what was a what was one of the best setups that he could use with what he currently has right now. And he's currently updated his uh, tracker album um, to the best he can to give me the best information. Uh, as well as he also would like some possible help in terms of setups uh, to be able to use for the current high score challenge before it ends in like the next day or two. This is his album right now that we currently have on screen. And as you can tell, he has some pretty decent medals uh, already. Now, for those of you that are new to this series or you haven't visited me on my Sunday Kingdom Key streams, um, the first things that I always take a look at when I go about making any setup whatsoever is one, your copy medals, and two, whatever meta uh, buffer debuffer medals that you happen to have on you at the time. So in this instance, as it is right now, uh, at the time of making this video, it would be medals such as like the stained glass medals, as well as like Kyrie and Shioni X. Those would be considered the meta uh, main buffer debuffer medals as of right now in the game. But yeah, like I look at copy medals and those, and then from there, I like to take a look at what guilted damage medals you have. Because essentially, it's the copy medals, meta buffer debuffer medals combined with whatever other guilted metals you happen to have that will typically be the best recipe in terms of trying to figure out what's the best setup uh for you guys for anybody in general that is pretty much the rule of thumb towards making good setups it doesn't always work sometimes you have to play around a little bit and you actually can make better setups with uh unguilted metals um ba depending on purely what they do uh, but that doesn't happen too often and more often than not the rule of thumb is to do is to use those three categories that I mentioned to you guys okay so just looking at your album right now Teth um, aside from the meta uh, metals that I just point on stuff I can see you have some fairly uh, common staples at the very least which is good to see such as the the HD Kingdom Hearts 2 Leon, you have HD Zexion, which is a good defensive metal. Uh, we won't be using it in any of the subs I show you in this video, but that is a staple uh, turtle metal that you should at least try and have. And it's very nice too that you even got extra attack too. Like, that's really nice. Um, we have the 358 Days Riku as well. That's another staple. It has a defensive skill, which I find kind of odd. You typically want an attack skill on that guy, um, but it's, it's okay for now. Um, the fact you got extra attack also kind of worries me because of the fact that he does cost four gauges, so not having a skill reduction on him with extra attack means you're really costing eight gauges on this guy, which is pretty expensive. Uh, you also have Vexen Plus, which is, again, is kind of just going along the same logic as uh, HD Zexen. He's a really good defensive metal. Uh, we're not going to be showing it in this setup for this video, but he's a good metal to have if you're able to get him when his event popped up. And then I see, of course, you have some of the most recent ones. I personally don't like using these guys if possible just because their multipliers are so low in general. Unless you're using sp using it for specific events like luck setups and such. Uh, but because you, you didn't ask for a raid boss or luck setup, uh, we won't be seeing these in the video either, okay? So after taking a look at your album and whatnot, uh, this is essentially what I ended up creating for you, okay? I... Based off what I saw, I created a really, really good fairy stars setup for you, okay? Uh, and the total damage, according to the website, is 64,725,932 damage, okay? Now, the main logic behind this for anybody watching the channel is, now, I know you do have both stained glass number two, uh, stained glass number four, and staying uh, and Kyrie EX okay so even though you have those I know a lot of people as of right now 
will go about putting stained glass number two right here in the second slot and just move carry ex over here to the first slot okay however in your case you actually don't want to do that uh almost purely because of the fact that your cost your gauge consumption is just so high with this setup it's actually more beneficial for you to just triple cast your Kyrie ex instead uh using your copycat uh hd nominee with its extra attack right here instead um, to double cast it twice before you use it and then use it again for a third time and essentially this right here these these three castings that you're getting right there will give you a plus uh 15 sp gauge uh restoration okay and that is going to help you all a lot because uh this double cast of 358 day rikus right there is already eight gauges right there and then this uh key art 16 is another four gauges and then your leon over here is another four gauges so altogether you're using 16 gauges overall for the entire setup so having your first two metals be able to restore 15 gauges is absolutely necessary as well as there's actually another reason too why i didn't include your stained glass number two in your setup as well and that is purely because of the fact that uh the only reason why you would even run a stained glass number two in a fairy star setup in general uh at all period is only if you are running a reverse setup on the fairy stars uh, but in this instance because we are not running a reverse setup on the fairy stars and you do not own any upright stained glass metals either okay we are pretty much forced to use the triple cast uh Kyrie ex instead um in this case it ends up working just fine beautifully as well uh because you still achieve the same stats anyways as you would even if you had the stained glass metal which is essentially uh you're still getting your plus seven upright strength um because you're getting six from the triple cast of the Kyrie EX and then you're getting one or you're technically getting two but like you're capping the extra one that you need uh from the 358 days Riku as well uh, so you're actually capping out your full upright strengths uh right here within just your first three medals alone which is absolutely fantastic and that's all you really need that's the, that's the primary goal anyways for most setups right now especially among uh stained glass metal setups now just to quickly explain how this setup works for anybody new watching the video as well kairi ex over here let's take a look at what she does real quick all right kairi ex she raises your upright strength by two tiers your general strength by seven tiers your psm strength by six tiers lowers the targets defense by three tiers and psm defense by four tiers raises enemy countdown by one and has an hp recovery of level four whatever that means basically she has a high hp recovery refill and she fills five gauges okay so essentially what is happening right here is just within the first two metals alone uh, other than the fact that you're getting plus six uh upright buffs upright strength buffs okay you are also fully capping out your general strength at seven you're fully capping out your psm strength at seven uh and actually if you have a spirit rank of nine it's actually at eight instead okay um and same thing with your debuffs uh you're maxing out your your psm debuffs as well which is at seven okay so right here pretty much you are fully capping out all of your buffs and debuffs with the exception of upright debuffs um the only thing that you would be missing outside of these two uh metals alone to make it perfect would be any type of upright defense debuffs okay and that is essentially the whole reason as to why i have your hd shionovir who does have extra attack copying your unguilted key art 16 ex plus okay and that's primarily because of the fact that your key art 16 ex plus over here provides minus two upright debuffs exactly what i said is missing from your first two medals over here all right so essentially what is happening is because of the fact that we're basically triple casting key art 16 three times right here as well uh, we're getting a minus six upright defense debuff right there alone and that right there is going to be huge that is absolutely necessary now i wanted to do other metals in your pet slot but because of the fact that your uh hd kingdom arts 2 leon is guilted 
Uh, and he does more damage in the pet slot. He just ended up being like amongst one of the best metals to actually put in this slot. Um, it doesn't hurt either that he also has a minus 60 ground defense trait on him as well. But overall, this is actually a really solid setup. Uh, if you can even guilt this key art 16, that would obviously make the, the, the overall the setup better um if you can attack if you can add a attack boost max skill on your ht shield as well that would help out too uh and same thing with your 358 days riku because honestly you don't really need a defensive skill on him at all i'm a little confused as to why you have it on here um and basically copy metals alone you would want uh any type of attack boost max skill so even so just like how i said you need it for shion you should probably add one to uh like a better one besides the attack boost two skill uh, onto your na nominee as well especially since she's extra attack like i i keep telling people repeatedly but once you can get at least one copy metal in the game for you to have extra attack period that is equivalent to getting any any type of meta breaking metal in the game period because literally one extra attack copy metal and in this case you have two which is like that that's just absolutely insane and like i applaud you sir for being lucky enough <laughs> to get that but just simply getting one copycat metal with extra attack literally changes your entire play style uh from that point onwards okay and just this right here is a very good example as to why normally what would happen that people would end up doing once they finally get their first Kyrie shoni x uh, especially if they don't have stained glass metals is that they would usually just have uh something typical like this just without the extra uh attack so they'll just use Kyrie ex twice in which case they don't fully cap out the general defense down debuff that they actually need and it only ends up going to minus six and against the really high level opponents such as like with the organization 13 events and such you need you absolutely need and coliseum as well you absolutely need to have your general defense down to uh the cap minus seven if possible okay and having a triple cast Kyrie uh just uh, just guarantees that you have like pretty much max everything uh as well uh, aside from the upright defense debuff so this right here with the current state of your medals is actually going to be one of your best setups uh at and like i mentioned before the damage that it provides is actually 64 million seven hundred twenty five thousand nine hundred thirty two. now after stating that after taking a look at your metals and actually looking at the other keyblades, there's actually a runner up that you might want to possibly consider as well. And that's actually going to be the Starlight. Okay. Now, if we take a look at the Starlight right here, it's actually pretty much almost exactly the same as your Fairy Star setup, just slightly different. Okay. It, the, the, the slots are just slightly rearranged a little differently than your Fairy Stars. Okay. Uh, in which that like this... This third slot, this magic upright slot, basically just got uh, pushed over to the fifth slot. And then these two slots over here just got shifted one slot over. Realistically, this setup can actually be better than your fairy star setup if you can actually guilt, uh, max guilt, this key art beginnings copy metal that you have. Okay. So as it is right now, this setup actually does 61,460,639. Now, obviously if we go back to the fairy star setup it is definitely lower than your fairy stars but watch what happens if i just decide to fully guilt your key art 16 metal okay if we decide to fully guilt it this is what happens to it so right now it's showing the damage from before it was guilted and now we're going to show the damage to if it is guilted all right everything else is staying the same and we're just changing that one metal look at that all right and it jumps up all the way to 70 million three hundred thousand eight hundred forty six that is about six million difference in damage uh greater compared to your fairy star setup and this right here just goes to continues to go showing just how good the power of copy metals can be and the main reason as to why this setup right here uh and why copying your key art 16 ends up creating more uh, significant more damage as well and i should also note too that this guy has absolutely no skills and no traits either it's just pure guilt the reason why i end up doing so much damage as well is because you're actually able to fully cap out that upright defensive debuff uh that we were missing 
from this triple cast because remember from this triple cast we only got that minus six upright defensive debuff we never actually got to cap it out to minus seven but with the uh key art beginnings copy metal we actually get to max it out to minus seven which also lets your hd kingdom hearts 2 leon over here be able to do a even more damage than it would have for the fairy stars as we have right here okay that's just something worth noting, and I figure I'd let you know that. Now, I know your uh, Starlight is actually at level 25, according to your email, um, but I just wanted to at least show you uh, the potential if you got it to level 35 on the Starlight. Now, after showing you the potential, let me actually bring it down to level 25, and this is what I want to show you, okay? Look at this. It does just about the same amount of damage, if not, I think, a little bit more. Yes, just slightly more damage then your fairy star set up as well too uh even with the and this is with the fully gilted uh key art beginnings metal right here too okay so this is almost exactly the same as your fairy star setup and that's with just a level 25 starlight all right so what i would probably recommend to you Ted, is that above anything else uh if you can try to fully guilt your key art beginnings as possible because that will help you out a lot especially if you can start pumping in uh more gems into your starlight to start leveling it up so other than this i know you were asking about a high score challenge setup that you could potentially use now just a quick disclaimer i am not the greatest at high score challenges um, I only consider myself fairly decent in them. I am not the most confident in giving advice about high score challenges. Uh, most, pe mostly because of the fact that high score challenges, more or less, are uh, in terms of setups, anyways, are pretty much end up being how many of the assist percentage medals can you actually slap onto the keyblade all at once while still being able to pass through the entire high score challenge. Okay. Uh, beating the uh, like being able to go and beat the last boss basically that's essentially more or less what high score challenges end up being about when it comes in setups so in that regard uh this is the high score challenge setup that you can actually try and attempt to use uh for your next high score challenge run before the event ends okay now i don't know if this is actually going to be uh the most successful for you but it is a potential setup that you can end up trying to do all right like i mentioned before i am not the most confident when it comes to high score challenges uh but at the very least if you're just trying to get that 150 million points so you can just at least guarantee your copy of illustrated diz um, which is all i really care about uh when i do my high score challenge runs as well is to at least get the guaranteed uh copy of the medal that it's advertised for at the very least i think that this setup right here could potentially uh work for you uh for a few reasons um, I should also note too that if you happen to have any of the stained glass uh, trait medals, if you really wanted to, you could also substitute this Master Zane or EX Plus for one of those as well. Uh, you would have to play around with it in the high score challenge just to see what which one actually ends up being working out for you. And of course, you would want to try and have a friend stained glass medal in the pet slot, uh, in your friend slot if able. But essentially, the main reason why I think that this is going to work is partially because of the fact that we have the triple cast Kyrie EX here. It also helps that each of these actually uh, match their attributes, so they'll actually do some, at least some fairly decent damage as well, uh, which is pretty nice. Normally, the first two slots in any setup are not there for damage at all whatsoever. But of course, if you're able to, uh, it's just icing on the cake. Um, but one of the main reasons why uh, you want these here is you want the SP gauge restoration uh, primarily because of the fact that like you have a double cast right here and everything else basically costs two gauges. I think this costs three gauges, three or four gauges, I think four gauges. Uh, so essentially you're using four gauges right here, uh, four gauges between these two metals right here and then another four right here. So overall... Uh, between these four metals and this is not even counting the friend metal if you're using a stained glass mode It's also probably going to cost anywhere from two to four gauges if it has extra attack 
Uh, your metals alone is going to cost for 12 gauges and a potential up to 14 to 16 gauges. So having this SP gauge restoration right here is actually going to help you a lot. And the other main reason as to why this is going to be such a major uh, factor right here with these two right there is because of the fact that it's going to provide uh, plus three counters to the enemy's countdown. Uh, a lot of the a lot of the enemies in the final stage of the high score challenge have counters, especially that one book guy that like fully caps out uh, defensive buffs for all of the enemies and stuff, which is really annoying to fight against. Uh, this, this triple cast Kai right here is going to help you out a lot in, in being able to fight that. The other reason why I think this Moogle Glory setup is going to end up working out well is because of the fact that what I've kind of ended up seeing is that uh, being able to just spam uh, stained glass metals as much as possible uh, with one factor being to just make sure to may uh, have their defenses completely debuffed at all times as often as possible because some of the enemies in the last room do uh buff up their defenses every once in a while but being able to just spam uh stained glass related uh metals definitely helps that out a lot and be able to do so uh, it actually helps it actually really helps out too that like this entire setup is actually kind of reverse space um which is going to be very effective against the upright uh, resistant enemy that you're gonna end up facing now when it comes to fighting against the upright resistant enemy guy in the high score challenge uh, this because of the fact you're running Kyrie EX uh, this triple cast will actually ended up healing him a little bit um, which can be a good thing because it can actually end up raising your score but if for some reason you can't actually kill him uh, with this type of setup if you want to, you can go ahead and just swap out this Kyrie X for your Shioni X instead. And in which case, that will actually do damage instead of healing him. And that, that would just have to be something that you can that you would play around with. Uh, you won't do as much damage, of course, because of the fact that this is an upright uh, magic slot. But you'll still at least get the magic buff, uh, multiplier buff from the slot, even if you won't get the upright uh, multiplier buff from the slot. But other than that, it's pretty, it's, it's kind of straightforward. It's just pretty much, uh, heal, add counters, uh, max out buffs and debuffs, and then just spam them with like stained glass metals as much as possible, uh, including the friend metal too. All right. That's pretty much the strategy that I've been seeing for high school challenges overall. Um, so let me know if that ends up working out for you again. I'm not the greatest of high score challenges, but in terms of setups, uh, they're pretty much straightforward or not that too complicated in terms of trying to figure out what to try and use for a high score challenge. Uh, but other than that, that was it for today, guys. Remember, if you want to participate in this series, please make sure to follow the instructions in the beginning of the episode. I only accept emails and it must be formatted correctly that I uh, mentioned in the beginning of the video. But other than that, my name is Brian from Kingdom Hearts Senior Cross Nation and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.